always Mrs Atkinson. I'm going to read you another story today. This is called The Dinosaur That Pooped the Past. It's a little bit rude. So I'm sorry about that mummies and daddies, but it is quite funny. We ready? Some grannies are old, some grannies are great, and Danny's was turning 1008. He sang, happy birthday, with Dinosaur too. Then asked to go out, there was plenty to do. So we've got Granny, and there's little Danny, and there's the humongous dinosaur. She's quite old, isn't she? 1008. You cannot go out till your plates are all clean, said Granny while serving up sludge that was green. There were broccoli eggs and hard Brussels sprouts. The dinosaur slopped the lot into his mouth. Then in two seconds when Granny wasn't looking, it ate Danny's pile of awful grand cooking. Oh, well done, Granny said. You've eaten enough. Now you can go out and do awesome cool stuff. That's how Granny's talk, I think. But he hadn't eaten it. The dinosaur had eaten it for him. They ran straight to the tree with a swing underneath, but it hadn't been swung since Gran lost her teeth. They swung back and forth. They went up, they went down. Higher, Dan said. Let's go all the way round. First, this wasn't an ordinary swing. It had powers, powers to turn back the minutes and hours. They counted to three and pushed hard off the ground. They looped and they looped and they turned time around. A magic swing that turns time around. Their heads went all dizzy. Time started to bend. So Danny held on to his dinosaur friend. Flashes and fizzes and sparkly squeaks. They swung past the Romans, Egyptians and Greeks. Then with a crack, the swing snapped in half. They crash landed into a land from the past. They have to rhyme apparently. Surrounded by trees of Jurassical size, being watched through the leaves by mischievous eyes. Uh oh. Then three baby dinos jumped down awesomely, who called themselves Dino Dudes A, B, and C. They liked playing games like Stackety Stack, where the Dino Dudes A, B, and C cl climb on C's back. Can you see? It's like stacking blocks, isn't it? But stacking dinosaurs instead. Then suddenly, dinosaur's tummy made grumbles. Grumbles and rumbles that made the ground crumble. But grounds do not crumble for any old reason. Grounds only crumble in volcano season. Ah! <gasps> we swung back in time. We were trying to play said Danny to Dino Dudes B, C and A. We need to get back. We need to leave fast. We need to get everyone out of the past. <gasps> I think he's a bit worried now. He needs to get back to his granny. But Danny and Dinosaur's only way back was looping through time on the swing that had snapped. <gasps> the lava was coming. The lava was hot, even hotter than Granny's old veg cooking pot. And so, without thinking, B, C and A stacked themselves up like the game that they play. But this wasn't a game. It was saving the day, saving the day, the Dino Dude way. They flipped and they jumped through the jungle with ease, surfing the lava on lava-proof leaves gathering all of the things they would need to fix the time swing at the speediest speed. Wax from the bees, sap from the trees, a tusk sap fell off when an old mammoth sneezed. They bashed it together with stegosaur teeth while dodging explosive eruptions beneath. The swing 
had been fixed, but the dinosaur group were now far too heavy to time travel loop. Dan started to worry, then started to panic. The ground underneath was now hot and volcanic. <gasps> they're going to burn their feet if they're not careful. Be careful, Danny! They all started crying. They cried and they cried. They cried and their tears instantly vaporised <sighs> because of the heat. Then something went bing in the dinosaur's mind. It thought of a way to loop forward in time. With broccoli eggs in the dinosaur's gut, its brain brewed a plan involving its butt. It knew there was only one thing it could do to get back to future. It needed to. You know this, don't you? <gasps> Boo! You ready? Hold your noses like this. It's going to be smelly. The poop came out fast. It had broccoli power and launched them to 88 miles per hour. It pooped out a pile of grand soggy egg veg with dino dudes A, B and C on its head. It pooped and it looped them all forward in time, away from volcanoes and hot lava slime. <laughs> Looks horrible, doesn't it? The Romans and Trojans were covered in poop. They all got a taste of Grand's broccoli soup. Whilst looping through Egypt, it pooped out a pile, which made a poop pyramid next to the, next to the Nile. It plopped out the sprouts, its bum did a smelly, and looped out the last piece of poop from its belly. <laughs> oh dear. They fell out of time. They'd made it back home. But Danny and Dinosaur weren't on their own. Dino do dudes A, B and C were there too. They travelled through time on the broccoli poo. They all started cheering and jumping around. Yay! It, it seemed like new dinosaur friends had been found. So they come back with them. And just when they had all the veg they could take, birthday gran served up her broccoli cake. Hmm. I'm not sure that will taste very, very nice. Can you see it? I can understand beetroot cake and courgette cake and carrot cake, but not broccoli cake. Maybe you should try it at home and send me the recipe. Broccoli cake for a birthday treat. And that is the end of the dinosaur that pooped the past. Da -da -da. Goodbye. See you soon. Bye.